Let us now consider profit sharing ratio on, on a retirement. What happens when a partner leaves? Usually, the remaining partners stand to gain in when, the, when an old partner leaves the firm. Again, when a partner leaves the firm and nothing is mentioned about the new profit sharing ratio, it is presumed that the remaining partners will share the profits in the same ratio as between themselves as they did before retirement of the partner. So let us take a case where there is no mention of a new ratio. A, B and C share profits in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2. A retires. What is the new profit sharing ratio and what is the gaining ratio? A, B and C. 4 by 9, 3 by 9 and 2 by 9. 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. So 4 by 9, 3 by 9 and 2 by 9 are the profit sharing ratios, old profit sharing ratio, the ratio before retirement. Now on retirement, who retires? A retires. So this is going to be minus 4 by 9. <clears throat> what is the new profit sharing ratio? What is the gaining ratio? So what is the new profit sharing ratio? The new profit sharing ratio is that 4 by 9 has to be shared between B and C. 4 by 9 is the sacrifice made by A since A is leaving. 4 by 9 will be shared by B and C in the ratio 3 is to 2. 3 is to 2 in the old ratio besides the uh, between them, the old ratio between the partners between B and C before A retired in 3 is to 2. So B will gain along with this. This was the old ratio. Now the new ratio will be 3 by 9 plus what is what will they share? 4 by 9 is given to them. 4 by 9 will be shared in the ratio 3 is to 2. 4 by 9 in the ratio 3 is to 2. So 3 by 5 and 4 by 9 into 2 by 5. Existing ratio plus this. This is sacrificed, this is gained and this is gained. <clears throat> if we take this, we will get 3 by 9. So I am writing the new ratio here. New ratio here would be 3 by 9 plus 12 by 45. Similarly, here it would be 2 by 9 old ratio plus 8 by 45. That is equal to 45 LCM. 45 divided by 9, 5 into 350 minus 45 by 45, 1, 12. And therefore, the ratio is, new ratio is, 3 by 45 and in this case 10 plus, sorry, 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 sorry. 27 by 45 and 10 plus 8 or 18 by 45. This is the new ratio. 27 by 45, 18 by 45. New ratio A is to B, 27 is to 45. 27 is to 18, 27 is to 18, 27 is to 18. This is the new ratio. 
how much did they gain how much they gain is this is the amount 12 by 45 gained gain is 12 by 45 and 8 by 45 what is the gaining ratio if it is actually asked it is the ratio of this or 12 is to 8 that is whole ratio between them 3 is to 2 is the gaining ratio which was the old ratio between them this is because a retires but nothing is mentioned about the new profit sharing ratio it is assumed that the new profit sharing ratio will between the remaining partners will be the same as it was before the retirement since nothing is mentioned Remaining partners purchase the retiring partner's share. A, B and C share profits in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1. B retires and A agrees to purchase one third B's share and C purchases the balance of B's share. What is the new profit sharing ratio? So in this case what is happening? The remaining partners is on retirement the remaining partners they purchase the retiring partners share the ratio was 3 is to 2 is to 1 b retires a purchases one third of b's share and c purchases the balance of two balance of b's shares what is the balance if one third is purchased by b two third will be purchased by sorry one third is purchased by a then two third will be purchased by C. So, what is the ratio A, B, C? What was the ratio? 3 is to 2 is to 1. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. 3 by 6, 2 by 6 and 1 by 6. This was the old ratio. Now, B retires. A agrees to purchase one third of B's share. A agrees to purchase one third of B's share. So what does he purchase? One third of what is B's share? 2 by 6. This is what he purchases. So this is the old ratio. This is the gain and therefore this will be the new ratio. What will be the new ratio? New share will be 3 by 6 plus 2 by 18. What is that? LCM of 18, 9 plus 2, 11 by 18. B has retired, left. So this is going to be minus 2 by 6, 2 by 6 minus 2 by 6. No new ratio. For C's case, two third of 2 by 6. C purchases the balance of B's shares. One third is gone. Two third of his share is left. Two third of 2 by 6 is left. How much is that? <clears throat> 4 by 18. So this is the gain. Gain 2 by 18. Gain 4 by 18. <clears throat> that is 6 by 18. <clears throat> 1 by 6 plus 4 by 18, 18 is the LCM, 3 plus 4 equal to 7 by 18. <clears throat> so new ratio is 11 by 18, 7 by 18, A is to C is 11 is to 7. This is the new profit sharing ratio, 11 is to 7. Case 3, when one remaining partner takes the retiring partner's share, it's possible that any one partner takes the entire share. A, B and C share profits in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 2. 5 plus 4, 9, 10, 11. So I'm talking of 5 by 11, 4 by 11 and 2 by 11 is the old ratio, existing ratio. B retires his share 
is taken by C. <clears throat> His share is entirely taken by C. So minus 4 by 11 add 4 by 11. So what is the new ratio? New ratio A continues to be 5 by 11. B is out nil. And for C it's 2 by 11 plus 4 by 11. That is nothing but 6 by 11. So what is the profit sharing ratio? 5 by 11 is to 6 by 11 or 5 is to 6 is the profit sharing ratio between A and C.